Nearly two-thirds of the world's one billion poorest people are female. The daily realities of poverty and gender discrimination mean that millions of girls across the world are disadvantaged from the day they are born. Zam was one of those girls. She was abandoned by her parents when she was just three years old. Since then, I never got to see my mum again. My heart used to tell me, stop crying, be strong. I, I like, I, I cried completely. I couldn't help it. Zam was placed in foster care, but faced discrimination and abuse purely because of her gender. I've learned that girls really face a lot of problems when they are not with their real mo mothers and dads. Because sometimes where I stay, I can make the woman like sad. They say, no, you ugly girl. Do you think you're going to help yourself in the future? You're, you know, you're indisciplined, you're not educated. People like you, why don't you just die? I used to run behind the house and I start crying, saying, now, oh God, why don't you just kill me and I just die? Because I, I don't have any hope. I had no one to tell me that Zam keep quiet, everything's going to be all right. I was lonely by that time. This was a dark time for Zam, but things were about to change. When Right to Play introduced its programs at Zam's school, she learned for the first time that she had rights. The right to play. Right to play activities bring joy to children's lives, but also teach valuable skills about health and peace, like how to avoid disease, reduce teen pregnancy, and resolve conflicts peacefully. What I enjoy doing the right to play is playing. Playing, mm, jumping around, jazzing with different people. It's really nice. Right to play makes me happy, really happy. As Zam's confidence has grown, she's helped run Right to Play activities and become a junior leader. My role with Right to Play is to see that I lead games, I bring also other children together as they used to they do, and I teach them different skills, I encourage them and I give them hope, and to see that they also gain that confidence like the one I have. Providing girls with opportunities that often are only available to boys, Right to Play gives them the chance to achieve a brighter future. Girls in Right to Play programs can not only imagine a fairer world, they're given the skills and the knowledge to make it happen. So when I'm a junior leader, they call me that when, when we're at a function, they say, our junior leader, Zam Ami, I come out. All, all of the people clap. It makes me happy. It gives me that picture that when I grow up, I'm also going to become a leader. I'm going to be loved. Right to Play activities have given Zam a reason never to give up on her dreams and have given her the skills and opportunities to grow as an individual and to build a brighter future for herself. Zam has now enrolled in secondary school and is looking forward to what the future holds for her. My new life now is like, it's good, because I feel like I'm in a new world. I'm in a school which is good, with good friends, you can cooperate with them anytime you want, they can help you. So I think that, where am I, it's good. To continue helping girls like Zam develop vital life skills, gain confidence, continue in education and fulfil their potential, we need your help. Help us give girls the future they deserve. Tonight you can help transform lives by giving girls the right to play.